Hey y'all, I'm Hope here at Crafty Hope and welcome. It is day 88 of the 100 day project and my not precious project in which I'm taking items from my stash that I have deemed too precious or too important or too, uh, too perfect, too good to actually use for some reason or another and using them. So that's what I've been doing for the past 87 days is taking things. Now I'm not using a hundred things or making a hundred things, but every day I'm working with items that are in my stash that are precious, or, but not really. So I'll put a link up here to the playlist of this whole project. Um, I'll also tell you that I'm not recording everything that I've made because there are some things that, um, yeah, just didn't make it on here <laughs> on a video for some reason or another. This one may or may not. We're gonna see. Um, it's going to be fairly simple. I have one second. It's garbage day and the dog is pitching a fit. So we'll see how far we get. Anyway, I have a couple sets of these decorative domes from Tim Holtz, and I think I just got them at Tuesday morning before they closed. And I'm trying to, I want to use them. So I keep playing with ideas of like putting um, like dandelion poofs in there, but they can't really be seen. So I have this little bowl of the little mushrooms that I made using acorn caps and sticks and hot glue and paint. Um, I actually, oh, and now they're everywhere. Oh no, I have to go fishing. Oh y'all. <laughs> I think two of them ended up okay maybe just one now they're all over my desk anyway um oh, that's a shame um yeah they are just acorn caps i props to somebody posted some that they had made on instagram i saw the video got recommended to me and i was like oh my gosh i'm totally gonna make some because i have all those things i have sticks and acorn caps and paint <laughs> so i have made them but i haven't really used them so I'm gonna put some in one of these little domes. Now this dome is indeed got a loop, so it could be for jewelry. I'm, I'm not gonna use it for jewelry. Um, it'll probably go into one of my assemblages somehow, some way. So let me, and in fact this dome, I don't think that is in the center of the dome. It's a little off, so whatever, whatever. We're gonna play. So I'm pulling out some things. We're gonna get started. I am gonna dome up some little acorn cap mushrooms. <laughs> This process did not take me very long at all. I started with some Deco Arts Chalky Gesso. This is the light green. And I'm gonna just put that on the bottom of that, uh, that plate that the dome fits into. And I'm gonna leave it to dry. And while it is drying, I'm gonna gather a couple things. You can see I'm just putting it down. I didn't put it all the way to the edge because I didn't really want that up on the edges of that bottom plate. And I just wanted something that would give me a better surface for painting it, um, that green you see over to the left. So I pulled out a couple of mushrooms. Okay, so this is the chrome oxide green. I'm gonna paint on the bottom of this and dry it. But I, you can see some stuff has changed on my desk. I pulled out three mushrooms kind of in varying heights so they wouldn't, like the caps wouldn't butt up against each other and would fit nicely under the dome. I also pulled out my hot glue gun. Now I'm using hot glue because of its quick drying time because it gives that wet thick surface that I can stick those mushrooms straight into. You can see I'm kind of like trying to decide where they're going to go. If you want to know how I made these mushrooms, I do have a reel on Instagram that I showed some of the process of how I made them, but it's really simple, y'all. I painted the caps of some acorns and then used a hot glue gun to stick some little twigs up into the caps. So super fun way. I, I really want to make more because they, you'll see the detail pictures at the end of this and they're so adorable. <laughs> so I also pulled out a little bit of some reindeer moss and yeah, so I'm going to get to gluing and this process goes super quickly. You'll see, I'm just going to put down a little bit of hot glue and stick my mushroom cap in and then a little more hot glue and my mushroom cap in. If you can hear the cat hollering in the background, I apologize. I have an elderly cat and the older she gets, the louder and whinier she gets. I don't, wait, 
it's just it's just how it goes isn't it <laughs> So, um, also you may notice that I skipped from day 82 to day 88, those five days in between, I did do my hundred day project, but for four of those days, I worked on altering or preserving basically a dragonfly wing. So I did put some resin on one, then added a jump ring to, to that one. Um, I put it in some glass. I did, um, some soldering and then I mounted oh what days were it was like 56 and 57 or 50 I don't remember I put my a key I altered a skeleton key in the box I'll put a link to that in the upper right because I think I put some of that in the video um I put yeah in a video so anyway as you can see once I get all my mushrooms down I started adding hot glue to the base of that and then some um some of that moss so I'm just trying to just make sure I cover up as much of that glue as I can because this is definitely a very kind of a woodland scene that I don't want anything super shiny in so I'm going to go through this and obviously I'm showing it to you like I'm finished and I'm not um I'm going to poke at this for a while. I'm going to peel off bits of the glue. And yeah, you can see it's kind of getting stringy. I'll even bring in my hot, my heat tool and zap it here in just a little bit. Because when you hit some of that hot glue with a, a heat tool, it'll... Uh, make those stringy bits kind of sink in and and not dissolve but melt down so there's a lot of me poking yeah poking bits of moss in there trying to cover up that hot glue and it got this is probably the fiddliest part of it was covering up all that hot glue so if you have something else you would rather use I just like that when you use the hot glue you get an immediate stick um and it's I don't know it just it's so much it just works really here I am with that hot <laughs> with that heat tool that's gonna and you'll see all of these little bits of things blow around on my desk I was trying to move them before I did it but <laughs> look at me picking up all these little things um and yeah and then the last thing I'm gonna do once I get all of this done and you'll see it in a minute because I'm gonna stick when I did hit that with the heat tool of course some of that glue heated up so it gave me an opportunity to stick more of the moss in there in that wet glue um, little base because of course it heated up as well <laughs> like just this balancing act of yeah getting everything in there and when I get it all done what I'm going to do is grab some it's a vinegar and water half and half mix that I use as a glass cleaner and I will clean that dome inside and out so that it's not so, I don't know, I've handled, handled it a bunch at this point, but I'll clean it to make it nice and clear and then I'll be done. So if you have any questions about this or anything else I've made or didn't mention in this video please ask away in the comments below and I appreciate that you came by and took a moment to watch this quick video for my not precious project and come back later and see what else I've got to share thanks for watching y'all bye